because you have to get a little bit more serious. Why are you laughing already? Why are you smiling? <laughs> well, you know me too well. Uh, I did notice that there is another creature in the game that has two heads other than the twin-headed dragon, Cinder. Did you know that? Yeah, I know you like answering questions. As we're going to have to hold that horse. Hold your horses, Cinder. we got potential action here. The battle begins. Got the Illuminate coming out. Matthew is actually going to get clipped and brought back. And that is going to be first blood for He actually pops the fairy fire. So even more economy wasted here. Oh. Matthew, bottom, he is gonna die. He, he popped another fairy fire, by the way. That's 150 gold total gone. Eight and four, so. DSM coming out on top. Yeah, but Bryle's here this time. Limps into the Illuminate, and White Mon actually gets credit for that one. <laughs> they pinged out the smoke and everything. Brow's actually going to run into Panda's eye path. Yeah, he got a little bit too cocky after seeing that beautiful glimpse. Uh, it's going to result in his death. White Mon looks to be fine. Made from C Smile as he rotates into the jungle now. His top lane, Whisper making his first rotation. Looks like I'm going to try to go on top of Kasane. There's the Chaos Bolt. And already comes in with a nice snowball. A good attempt on the Ice Shard, but it's not going to be enough as the Polarize is there. Bryle showing off those new boots of travel. Pakaz gets off his ult. Trying to focus on Bryle right now, but he's going to get taken out by the Illuminate instead. So it's a one for one as Whisper. Ice Path not quite going to connect on Ari. Whisper with the Onslaught will hit the Tusk. Illuminate coming from Bryle, but they might have to leave the Tusk to his own devices as the Pulverize is there. As most of EG have come to try it. Do they even have enough damage? There's the snowball. Shards to block him in. Okay. Gets off his ult though. As Bryle's here with the Thunderbolt from White Mon. He does have his glimpse available as well. And that's going to end up being a very easy one. TP from the Primal Beast though. Whisper already half HP. Another glimpse back to where the hell you came from. <laughs> Apparently not. As Panda, he's going to try to do as much damage as he can. But obviously will fall as the numbers are here for TSM. Chat GPT, how many global glimpses? Here comes the snowball in the mid lane. Matthew, the static storm is there. Yes, Matthew has been having a bit of a rough time, but Onslaught is there from Whisper. <laughs> Gets off the ult. They're finally going to get some revenge on the freaking Disruptor. First death for White Mon. Oh, they're gonna find him anyway. The TPs are coming though. Do they have enough damage to finish off beforehand? The glimpse again! The global sea smile will get the hell out of dodge. Spirit Vessel onto Bacaz. Trying to arm it away. He should be fine if he can properly do this. And he does. Absolutely. Onslaught. Well, that's pulverized. Disruptor, you're gonna pay the ultimate price again for your transgression. But Kinetic Kill move there. Ari buys him a little distance. Another great glimpse slash shards. Looks like that might save his life as Matthew. He's gonna find the tusk, but all he wants is White Mon. Oh, he gets the finger! Whisper! He's creating a nice path of trees, so White Mon knows exactly where he is. Kinetic Heal keeps the distance again. Ari with the Walrus Punch. Whisper, he really wants this kill. Finally! Disruptor! They get it again. Overrise, though. On the tusk, who now has no mana, thanks to the lion. Yeah, Matthew. The glimpse. They're gonna get the kill onto Lion here. It'll be a Lion for Jakir, but Tusk died as well. Nice silence coming out from Sea Smile, but it'll be nearly enough to save their Lion. Pretty valuable. As they're trying to set something up in the top lane. Yeah, there's the song. Panda's coming in from the other side to try to help his primal beast. Oh, the Lotus Orb actually reflects the Tusk Snowball. Whisper, he's gonna get off the pulverize, and they're gonna have to leave their tusk to die. So TSM just dips. Oh. Yeah, even the exorcism is there, but Matthew misses the earth spike after being so tilted from getting glimpsed this entire game. But they'll find the kill anyway, Syndrome. Can you name one AI movie as we're gonna see Panda get stuck inside the static storm? Hero ticking down very low. Looks like he's done. Glimpse back, but the 
Onslaught's gonna catch the Disruptor again, so it's a one for one support for support, indeed. And that is gonna be the Aegis going the way of EG. And we see Whisper and Matthew still playing very aggressively, but it's just a support from TSM as he actually gets the snowball off onto Matthew, but there's the Hex, or Spike as well. And I'm sure they'll find this kill regardless. Nice little stack for the finger. BKB, that's the first usage of that in the game. And... Uh, well, there's more to come as Kasami is here as well. Yeah, Whisper's gonna get the kill there, so it's a one-for-one one across the board. Exorcism's popped. EG have to get something out of this now. Nice silence onto two. And the focus is on the Naga sign. He dodges the ice path, though, has the song, gets it off. And the BKB running out for C-Smile in just a few seconds, but the Exorcism is doing so much damage, it might not even matter. Tomato, he's gonna get Yules up, and there's the eye paths to ensure that they get that position one kill. Beautifully done from EG. Yeah, I mean, we've talked about this in the past as well, when Caudle was very common in mid lane. We can see a big initiation into the high ground. Finger of death is there as well. Caudle is dead right off the bat. Ice path connecting pretty well. As Jakiro gets off the macro fire, but already too dead for TSM is Pekaz. How much setup do they really have? There's the incinerator to start things up on Pekaz. He gets the Lord's Old reply to him via Whisper. The melee rack is already dead. And remember, he still has the Aegis for another 20 seconds. The punch, keeping Whisper in place. There's the glimpse back. The Aegis is now gone, but I believe he's going to respawn where he... Yeah, died there, so Pekaz might be in a little bit of trouble. He's getting four seconds stun, though, onto the Naga Sign, but a nice touch snowball saving him for the time being. He's going to get silenced. He's going to get pulverized now. It's C-Smile with the Axo doing so much damage, and the Spirit Siphon keeping him very healthy. Tomato pops the Manta and then just dies. 50 seconds of no Naga Siren or TSM. Can they get something out of this? They get the DP finally, as Pekaz continuing to do a nice job of armlet toggling. Yep, no, nope. Static Storm. That's the death of Matthew, so they get some revenge again, Whisper. Yeah, Macropire onto two. Whisper onto the high ground, has to Lotus himself, but you can see the root applied to Tomato right now. And still has a Song of the Siren available. He's extremely tanky. He's going to get three seconds on thanks to the Pakaz stun. Focusing now on Kasane instead, but the Song is going to save him for the time being. As Kasane is literally stuck in between the illusions. So we'll TP out just a little casual there. Now the focus might just be on Tomato because he won't have a ton of backup. Reality Rift. Oh, nice job dispelling or dodging the Chaos Bolt entirely. I was going to use Manta style. Try to go on top of the death problem. He's going to use himself to buy himself a little bit extra time. Meanwhile, looks like Pekaz is just killing the supports on the backside. Ari gets killed off by Whisper as well. Tomato, he's doing a nice job of focusing c spine with the help of Bryle as well. So they will get that kill again this time. He's gonna go. Oh, that's a beautiful coming from Nature's Prophet, though. It will be the death of Tusk at the very least. And Tomato, yeah, the instant dispel from Whisper. Now that he has that level 15 talent on Uproar trying. So, this will be Aegis Shard, like you said. The question is, who is the Shard going to? Is it the Primal Beast or the Death Prophet? Because everybody else that needs one has it. It'll be C Smile, so, for the CK. Speaking of CK, he uses his Hex. That's the death of Ori. Backdoor protection is there for a little bit. The creep wave is starting to enter here. They're going to try to go on top of the DP, trying to force out the BKB, but they're going to force things on the Tusk instead. Instant death for Ari. As the Naga is in a little bit of trouble. He's broken temporarily. I'll take a full pulverize, getting four steps. Finger is there as well. Looks like he's going to live, but... The Nature's Prophet, not so lucky. EG basically getting most of what they came for. Another melee racks to their name. Oh, there's the Hex. Reality Red buyback from the Nature's Prophet. Do they have enough damage to actually take out Tomato in time before the song comes out? So much stun lock on top of him. He's dead. 60 seconds of no Tomato, and that might do it here for game one as White Mon takes a tumble as well going to be two sets of racks at the very least, and they can probably go for the Megas now. Now they're on top of the BKB Coddle. Double kill for Pekaz. He has to buy back in the game this Bryle, but... Not getting a whole lot out of this. It's TSM. 
Still zero deaths. I'm just gonna take it the old fashioned way through the right clicks. GSM just kinda have to watch. They're gonna have to fight at some point, surely. Sonic pops the BKB, but nobody's really on top of him, so just using it to right click now. That's the mega creep to get the mid range racks as well to be able to ensure that. As the GG's come out, and EG, very well played. Whisper obviously just unkillable, literally zero deaths. Uh, but like he talked about, the lion pick in general, even though he got, I want to say embarrassed <laughs> several times early on. Click a baby. Until Idle, it gets it sentient, will. at which point it will recognize that that's bad to... That's probably fair, yeah. If it's intelligent enough, it will know that humans are dumb, in fact. As we're gonna get into game number two, uh, between TSM and EG. And I'm very curious how not only the AM will work... You'll, you'll get it right eventually. With an onslaught. Wait, what did I say? I said one lane. lane. All right. Nice save Whisper? here from Matthew. It's not yeah. enough, though. Tomato. Yeah, that's a big first blood for an big AM. Big first blood for sure, yeah. That, uh, it's going to get a nice cog off to trap Kasane inside. And there's the meta from Oh, Picard this hurts with the battery. badly. Slow him down. Has the vacuum, but it's not really going to do too much at this stage. Gets it off, but it's not quite enough to keep him alive. And now he's going to miss... Several creeps under the tower as well, and that probably hurts even more than the death. As looks like the Crystal Maiden will fall in the top lane. Matthew completely out of mana thanks to Tomato's mana break, but here which could pay off, but also be a big waste of time. Tomato is ready. They miss the onslaught. Cookie, fine. Not quite enough, but White Mon is going to get caught off though, so they'll get something, but it's not the true prize. Matthew dies in the in trade. The it's terrible. Yeah, he's getting quite low, but will live. Focus fires there on Tomato. He has to be a bit careful. C Smile can just pop that winner under the tower. Here comes the TP support. Tomato has blinked up in one second. Power shot's going to connect. C Smile now out of mana. Focus fire is still technically active. If you can just find Tomato, he's on the other side of the tree line. Cookie to safety. Another TP. Yeah, I don't this think time that's safety. Mon. Gets off the slow, and Tomato ends up netting himself the kill as a result. And now Whisper going toe-to-toe -to -toe against Tomato, but he's completely out of mana, so they should be able to finish him off with a couple right clicks. Pops the wand, but it's not enough. So big, big trades this here going the way of so TSM. This is so huge for TSM. They get a full mid-tower to play the lane, so... Top lane, they want to try to get Tomato, but again, the cookie's not quite in range. Now, now Whisper might get could be in trouble. On top of that, Telekinesis, you can see White Mon and Ari have just stuck around. And Tomato just looking for that last right click if he can just blink in. They're not even needing to. They take out Whisper quite easily. Matthew now completely out of mana. Panda, he might drop as well as the Primal Beast. More TPs coming in. White Mon perhaps bit off a little bit too much as because they forced him here. And I think TSM next. All right, give me the ward battle. You know I love White it. You know I love get gone on. And Frostbite is there to completely cancel out the trample. He attempts to TP out. Killed. He can skill it, though. He can skill do it. it. He does against Bryle. This would be a very big kill. Panda's going to die now. Spirit siphoning up. Probably. Maybe not. So likely. Uh, yeah. yeah, he will. Ari is going to take the focus fire to his face, but it's going to be a trade for supports one for one. TSM will back away. Shackle not able to connect. Instead, the TSM TP comes through and... You now have to back away. Whoa, okay, Matthew. Matthew reinitiates. He really wants to CM and he'll get it. Nice read that that was a play. It's a very clean engage. Hookshot. Yeah, Hookshot connects. Panda. Getting Ari. So that's a nice couple kills for EG. Obviously, just the supports, but it's really this mid tower that they have their sights set on. And it looks to be going their way. So they're not going to be able to find an opening here. Although Ari, he gets off the telekinesis, but the hookshot the counter initiate for Panda on top of White Mon. See Smile, barely able to get out of dodge. Exorcism is pop for this. And we see Whisper ends up netting himself a kill, and now the little baby Mortimer's in melee range. Bryle actually puts oh, him stolen. in position. Stolen. That's a beautiful Mortimer's actually going to finish off the Snapfire as well. And now Matthew getting chased down by Bryle. Whisper. So low on HP, but now full. White Mon gonna get jumped. Shot again from Panda. Instant telekinesis, but White Mon is dead anyway. Uh, Battle Fury was finished just before the 13 minute mark. Not with Exo yeah, level 1. Looking, uh, I think they were looking for the pickup. Oh, Panda stuck around though. Ah, uh, he's yep. so dead. And Mortimer's is still online for Ari. He's gonna vomit it up. 
Get a nice kill. Ral gets the credit for that one. The Rubik could get a dagger eventually. Hook shot and find White Mon again. He's done. White Mon is done. Crimson Guard's not going to be enough to save his life this time. Panda. Oh. He's on top of Ari right now, but he's kind of on the other side of the river as Ari just running around in circles, dodging these kisses. He's going to do so successfully. <laughs> nice footwork there. Lose the Primal Beast, so it's a two for one. Make it a Wait, two for two. He got Power Shot sniped. Right. The primary initiation on the Radiant, right? Both of them are charging in. Right, get one here. At the very least, we'll find the Rubik on Ari. Um, efficiency lost there. Allows a cost to catch up by a couple hundred. Bottom lane. See, smile. He's just dead? Yes. Ryle gets credit for that one. So White One and Ryle actually somehow find that kill. Very surprising. It's mid lane. Oh, see, nice work. Whisper to Kinesis, Kasane. Gonna get off his wall. Nice In timing. Nice vacuum mid jump. But looks like the Snapfire will get away anyway, but Matthew, he might not be so lucky. He's the the one that will be sacrificed for EG. Still has the Arcane Rune on Brile if he wants to pop ulti right now and look for this move. Yep, he will. He might be looking for a kill instead as Panda. He's gonna get that one for himself. He's gonna die to himself, that is. Timano eating it. Timano? Yeah, he's got to be a bit nice kisses. Mortimer is doing oh, a lot of damage. Of damage. Ryle back into the pit he goes, but we'll see if EG want to try to contest this. Kasana, nice vacuum, but no real follow-up yet. Oh, uh, and the gobble on Matthew onto two, polarized to follow. Whispers there with the burst damage, and down goes Death Prophet. Kasane, he's going to get bursted down as well, as Ari drops his well. So four for one, EG doing a masterful job of... Three heroes vacuumed into what? Like, nothing. Tomato. Tomato. He, he could die deep. for this potentially. A stun. But All right, so I'll get the seat. Fine, White Mon, not so much. So there's Pierre no to listen to, to the logic here. though. See Smile, nice style. In mid lane into the frostbite. Uh, and see Smile is just done though. Matthew though trying to get some kills here. Panda gets off a nice hook shot. So they have actually isolated two members of TSM. The Primal Beast does God, die for the, for the DP. So two supports for the DP. White Mon. Looks like he's gonna be fine as well. The wall. Yeah, the wall is there. Tomato's here. In addition, he's gonna get stunned right off the bat, though. Panda. Not a whole lot of men to speak. Stolen of. kisses. Oh, actually, just mostly running away. And again, like you said, the kisses. Cosmic to sunder. Rain on top of the cos. Has to sunder his teammate. He's gonna live as a result. Tomato is just ripping everybody apart in the meantime, though. Three for one in favor of TSM. A lot of initiation. Here? Maybe I mean, not. Gobble up is crazy here. Rush is getting relatively low. They're, they're going to continue to spot it though with the rocket flares and power shots. Tomato, here comes the initiation. There's the pole right to follow. Are they going to go and get the Aegis? They do. Tomato still gets the Rush and the Aegis as Matthew now trying to hightail away as the pole is actually stolen and used against Panda, who's forced to just hookshot before his inevitable death. But every time by Rubik, right? Like, that's just not. All right. Stun. Tomato, he already used his blank, but he's going to get some support from his teammates. The stun lock is there, though, so the Aegis is done. Super fast Aegis usage. DKB and meta pop by Pakaz now trying to focus on any residual support sticking around but end up using a lot of cooldowns here and not really finding much very, out of it very other good than the right there from Brile onto the Terrorblade really stopped him in his tracks and they're going to continue on as Onslaught I think Whitemon's trying to create some space here but nice cogs onto two heroes Brile has popped BKB he's getting ripped apart by the Snapfire but there's the Basher oh a huge oh, man Pakaz is going to live though just barely not able to get off the Sunder in time as Tomato jumps in anyway with that counter spell so wouldn't have worked out as C Smile now on the run. The TSM, they lose the Death Prophet, but they're gonna find three kills here with this clockwork. Maybe rather, they were able to chase that down and just isolate him with AM, burn all his mana, and just kill him off. Shackle shot. Shackle shot is good, but the Crimson Guard can keep him healthy for the time being. A big vacuum into really nothing, as they don't really have anything to do AoE damage at this point. Mana Boy's still on the left for another eight seconds. Nice stun locks on the Tomato. Gets off the Manta, stunned again. Blink is available, and now he's going to blink into the arms of his teammates. White Mon is there just to soak up some damage for his, his carry, and he will do so successfully with his life. The Perseverance first, which is kind of curious. That could mean that he might be considering Refresher as well. We'll get Matthew Freezing here. Freezing kills being used here to kill off Matthew. will be successful. 
Not the double damage, though. Roche? You won't know for another 30 seconds when he'll spawn. Oh, missed the hook shot. Miss that was slow. But Matthew's here with his newly picked up BKB. There's the pulverize onto the Death Prophet. But you can see the exorcism is already up, so EG want to try to waste it by just backing away. Mato's come to play in the meantime. For TSM to not get caught on your cores. There's the gobble up to get the Rubik. Yep, and it connects. It is just a Rubik. Tried to save himself there, it looked like. It's happening. And you can see Tomato taking the enemy outpost, so they're not looking to contest this at all. Instead, he's going to try to pressure the kill through. But they don't have time to CP back now as Pekaz with the Aegis. Oh, they actually they bait Matthew to go in, but vacuum onto two. Normal punch, it's just the Primal Beast, but they're going to get that kill, it looks like. How much damage EG can do in the meantime. A nice hook shot comes out. White Mom, he's gonna take the brunt of the damage here. Because in that meta, continue to apply pressure to the Brian. Nice cogs pushing back Brian. But there's a no, 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 and that is the meta down. Aegis obviously comes back, but he's going to be in melee form, so he's kind of useless. Pops the BKB. More than an exit route than anything. Focusing on Tomato now. He's completely shackle shot to a creep. Will attempt to get out. We'll be fine now. Now, oh, the beautiful vacuum again with the Pull it up. Gale Force keeping Kasane at bay, but they're going to find the kill. Oh, okay, stolen gobble. gobble up. Okay, Bryl is in the enemy base. I'm not sure what this is all about. He's taking a lot of damage. Now finally pops the BKB. He has the Spirit Siphon. So he will get to a respectable amount of HP as the Terrorblade and Winner are dead for a full minute. TSM will somehow win that fight. Oh, no. 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 Gale Force is there as well. They have to give this up. The hook shot not really gonna connect to anything, but they get the nice shackle shot onto Ari, and the rest of TSM have to get the hell out of here. White Mon is dead on the stairs of his jungle. Dude. And the rest of TSM go back to base. This is Aegis. Cheese. Okay, they triple buyback. So he did find the buyback in the end. They're TPing to their outputs. It's gonna be a little bit late as Roche is already at half HP. These TPs are taking forever. And Roche, he's about to drop. Ryle actually pops the exorcism already. And the Shivas, they're going all in for this, but they're not gonna be able to get it. Gale Force is there as well. So they waste the exorcism, they waste a bunch of buybacks. They need to fight now, but there's a nice wall coming out from Kasane. Terribly getting quite low. Of course, he does have the Aegis. It will be consumed immediately. There's a stun on the Ryle. They're trying to focus him now because he does not have buyback at all. He can be popped by because gets off the metamorphosis as well. Nice mana boy coming out. Not enough to kill out Whisper though. Whisper. Okay, Pakaz actually gets normal punch in the meantime. Attempting to get out, he's gonna go in this for the time he gets the Sunder up onto Ari. Gets that kill. Now onto the high ground he goes, and Kasani just focusing all of his efforts on just Pakaz, who now is gonna get mana burn to Oblivion. 90 seconds of no Terror Blade. So TSM, they give up everything, they buy back horribly, but they still win the game. <laughs> TSM. Wow. They win the game and give their fans a heart attack within the same minute. My God. That, I feel like that in that walk up the high ground by Brile is almost criminal there. Yeah, you have the telekinesis to try to save him, but it's not immediately in range. And 